Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to do the uh, uh, first trial of squishing an apple with our brand new design. Oh yeah, we're going to grind some apples. Grind some apples? Oh yeah. Alright, so you got the custom bike, you got the chain. Alright, there's the grinding wheel right there. We tried this little design with the uh, with this big block, and we don't know if we're actually lined up right, or if we got the shape right, and if it's going to work with the apples, but we're just going to give it a shot and find out. Alright, this is our homemade bicycle to go with the press. That's, uh, that's Calvin. <laughs> Got my great. smolder going. Should I drop the phone down in there and see what it's the real the deal? Apple. Okay, so oh, we've yeah. got um, apple quarters that we're going to be putting through. Okay, spin it up, bud. Let's just see if how a quarter does. All right, here we go. Ah! All right, that was pretty good. Alright, yeah. so here's the uh, crushing operation. What we need to do is spin it up so we get the, uh, the head going. Now let's just see how fast we can munch through this huge bucket. Away they go. Is that hard? Is that hard work? Not terrible. Really? Would you rather be using your arms for that or your legs? Probably legs. Yeah. <laughs> and we are just munching through this. Hey, can you go a little quicker? <laughs> awesome! Whole bucket in, I don't know, what would you say? About a minute. So then while this is going on here, we can actually slide that bucket down to the other side where we pressed. So you could, uh, we're going to move that one back. And then we can actually press and grind at the same time. Because of the hydraulic pump. That, um, there we go. So, um, is that a lot of work? How's your arm strength? Nice and strong? Yeah. So this is how this one works. And you're sort of like flattening it around. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's pretty fast too. All right. So let me get your, uh, your opinion. So you've been uh, kind of like uh, siphoning off the juice all day long. So, what would you say in terms of output? Um, this guy compared to that guy. Would you say maybe three, four times as much? Three, four times yeah. as much? Wow, yeah. wow. Yeah. And um, what about tastiness? I haven't tasted cider today, but I'm going to guess that it's equivalently tasty. Equivalently tasty, okay. So, this is how many apples Chris gets every year. He actually had three bins this year. And we two full bins. Two full bins. Okay. And so um, that's going to be a lot of grinding for us today. I hope we don't. Uh... Oh, and this is basically as far as we've gone as this. Ouch. That's a lot. Glad we have two machines on board. Okay, buddy, let her rip. And then we're going down. Go, buddy, go! That's alright, because it's going to get harder in just a second anyways. Oh. Oh, look at this. <laughs> They're wanting to know where to get some. I'm like, right there. Hey, do you get it right out of the tap? Go ahead. Go, bud, go! Alright, how is it, guys? Pretty good. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, delicious, good. I just love that grinder wheel. Just love it. Oh man, just amazing. So cool. So you've got all those tools up there, and that's going to be uh, where it's grabbing the you know, tools for each of the steps. You have to spill, by the way. And um, so the table's doing a lot of the moving. It's about two change in a second. I can't believe how fast that arm goes. And that's a big, heavy arm. Give me a break. All right, and then we're going to punch in. 
Is that a, just a drill? That's a spotting drill, so it's going to create just a little cone on the bottom. It's very stiff, and so that'll guide the, the next drill to be straight and, and not try and bend around or break. Uh, okay, so it's basically just kind of doing a free, mm -hmm. like a counter sink. And then there goes the drill. Wow. So then, that's what we just did. And then you're gonna actually take and, uh, and tap that yep. for, a, um, for a set screw. And then we move on to the next one. So it takes. And we can actually go, and that's the tool path, so you can see here how it helixes down. So those are those twists that you did, first of all. Yep, and then it comes it runs out and finishes the pocket. So if I were to animate this, let's slow it down. Here's the part. You can see it's coming in here and it's helixing around and it does its little step. So that's what's going on about that point. Okay. And so that first, um, that first little pass, that was it etching in this mm -hmm. little pocket on the side. Yep. So it does it, and then it kind of plunges, and then it cleans it up. Yeah, that's exactly uh, right. That is so dang cool. All right, fellas. Hey, have you guys got this thing figured out now? There we go. Okay. Now she's a good sport. What's her name? Cora. Hey, Cora! Cora, look, look up! up. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going over here from your perspective? Uh, way good. Are we, are we moving along pretty good? Oh, we're cranking out the side. Cool. Yeah, definitely exercise. How about this? Is there an end in sight? Are we getting close to being done? We're are we? Close. How many apples do you think you guys sliced up today? Twenty apples? Well, you did your part. So we started out with three bins of apples, and we have drained this one. Drained this one. We got here. It's two o'clock right now, and we got here about eleven. So three hours basically for those three bins. It's pretty good. Okay, what's your name? Elena, is that pretty hard to do? You're right at the end. Oh, she's still pushing pretty hard. A lot of foam there. Where's that foam come from, guys? Apples, yeah. <laughs> because of exchange. How'd that go? Was that hard? Kind of, at some parts. Was it still pretty fun? Are your legs tired? No. No? So did you grind up those apples all by yourself? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you did good. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Somebody lower the seat for that guy.